Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well, go over to Messy Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. So GTA 5 PC, what's not to like? You know, it's uh, it runs at a high frame rate, like 100 FPS, whereas console runs at 30. I swear this is actually worse than. <laughs> Bro, look at this frame rate, you can actually count it. You can change the graphics settings so it looks exactly how you want. You can play with the mouse and keyboard, so if you don't like using a controller, don't worry. Because you can use a mouse and keyboard to get like more precise aim in. It's, it's basically perfect, but there's one thing that really sucks. You can probably already guess what it is, but it's modders. I honestly think GTA 5 has got the biggest modder problem out of any game at the moment, especially if you play it to make content like me. In fact, it's got to a point where a modded version of GTA Online, I'm talking about GTA RP here, is safer than the actual version of GTA Online, which is backed by a multi-billion dollar company. How often do you see your favourite streamers like Shroud, Summit, whenever they play GTA? How often do you see them get crashed by a modder? You don't. It never happens. And they would have like 50,000 viewers. But if you watch someone like me, MetPro, you versus stream GTA, and we're playing in public like our game will get crashed within 10 minutes. We might even get booted offline, and we hardly have a thousand viewers. Speaking of the booters, let's talk about them. If you get on the wrong side of these guys, say goodbye to your internet. It's not too hard to count because you can just use a VPN, but if you either forget to turn one on or you just don't know about VPNs, then your life will literally be made of misery. Take this for example. I was live streaming GTA on PC a few weeks ago, and because I'm currently living in university accommodation with around 100 people using the same internet, I thought I'd be safe from attacks. Little did I know, around an hour into the stream, a modder joined my session grabs my IP address and boots me offline. If you don't really know how any of this works, imagine your IP address being your house address and there's someone booting you is just someone spamming you with mail. It will get to a point where suddenly no mail can fit through your letterbox and that's you not being able to use the internet. So it'll take uh, around 10 minutes for you to clear the mail away for you to be able to use it again. Sort of similar to that, but you can find a video for more detail about it. What's even worse is the internet didn't just go down for me, it went down for everyone else too. So that's around 100 people who don't have internet for 30 minutes. And he did this multiple times too. Well, that's all an easy fix, just download a VPN, make sure you turn it on, and then you shouldn't be able to get booted offline anymore. So what else is bad about GTA for PC? Sure there's nothing else. Well, as you might have guessed, there's still way more issues. One of those is game crashes. Pair this with modders being able to join you by just simply entering your name into their mod menu, and this is what happens. Right. Uh, these guys say they say stuff like, oh, I love you modders, and stuff like that, but like, I literally say every single time I stream that I don't like people joining me. Like, I, I want to, if I stream, I want to play GTA just like how I normally play GTA, so you guys can like see how I play GTA and stuff like that. But if I get modders joining me, it's not like, oh, like look at this guy. Like, ha ha ha, you're doing a funny pose, but it's just like, it's kind of annoying, you just griefing the stream. I, I don't know what he's doing, it's probably like using a master freeze or something. I'm not sure. But. And then the guy that said he loves me crashes me, and now like, I have to load a GTA again, and it wastes like this 10 kid, minutes. Man. Video games can crash for many reasons, and most of the time it's down to some sort of bug. However, on GTA Online for PC, modders can actually have the power to crash into the player at the push of a button. Pair this with the ability to join you just by typing your name into their menu and GTA becomes literally unplayable. Get on the wrong side of a modder and say goodbye to your GTA account. If you want to play peacefully again you'll have to get a new account and pray you don't annoy another modder. This guy down here was killing a bunch of people, I seemed to have a high KD and because I hadn't played GTA in a while I thought I might be able to get a fight and have some fun. I now realise that this guy's a modder, he's in god mode, got explosive ammo, so I just go in passive because I don't want to deal with him. I don't want to fight a guy that's clearly using mods like this because it's not fun and it doesn't end well. And then you can see my game just crashes. So this guy got so offended that I shot a rocket at him, even though he's in god mode that I deserve my game to get crashed. I also get sent many messages like this on PC by automated bots that ask me if I want to download a mod menu. The funny thing is, is this message is telling me to download a menu to protect myself. However, people might do this, download a menu to protect themselves, and then abuse the features of the mod menu to grief other people. And this is one of the main reasons why modders are so high. People have menus for protection, but as soon as someone gets on their nerves, they'll whip out all the griefing tools they can. And the thing is nowadays it can be really hard to tell who's a modder and who's actually just good at the game. Like in this situation you'll see me get revenge on this guy. And I'm not going to lie my aim was actually quite good in these clips. 
but when people don't understand how good people can be and understand game mechanics, it would be hard for them to figure out who's the modder and who's not. This can make people feel vulnerable. So these are the type of people that will end up buying a menu and then using those features. The griefing features, maybe even aimbot, just so they can win fights. A lot of modders, when they use aimbot, it can be quite obvious and sometimes they'll use insta-kill as well, so you'll wonder why they'll kill you in just one bullet. And when you understand how the game works and how you can and can't one-shot people, it's really easy to pick these people out. Sometimes if they just use, like maybe trigger bot or try and hide it, it can actually be quite hard to detect. But this is a big problem with PvP in GTA, because it can really mess up the integrity of the game. The fact that the modding situation in this game doesn't seem to improve and only seems to be getting worse, with modders being able to have even more of powered features than before, Rockstar really needs to step in and do something big. Modders are the main reasons why me and some of my friends don't play this game anymore. It really takes away from the fun, but the only other option is playing on console where the frame rate is 30, if even that, and once you go from playing on PC it's really hard to go back. This is why I'm excited for the enhanced version, where hopefully you'll be able to play 60fps on console. This will mean no modders and a really smooth gameplay experience. If you ever want to experience this on PC, you can buy a PC using my referral link in the description down below. But let me know what you think about modders, drop a comment telling me your experiences, whether you think they're a bit overpowered or what rocks I should do. Peace out, thanks for watching.